some hope today for a five-year-old girl who's waited her entire life to get out into the world and suffers from what some people call bubble boy disease. Searsha Sulak suffers from that rare severe immunodeficiency disorder and needs gene therapy. Well, Susie, now thanks to researchers at UCLA, the innovative treatment could be a game changer for her and others suffering from rare diseases. What are you going to be this year for Halloween? I don't know. You don't know? You're going to be a cheerleader. Five year old Searsha Sulak loves costumes, but she doesn't go trick or treating like other children do. Any germ, even a common cold, could kill her because she was born with severe combined immunodeficiency or bubble boy disease. Made famous by the 1976 John Travolta movie, The Boy in the Plastic Bubble, Searsha was born in Hawaii, where her father was stationed as an Army helicopter pilot. When she was six days old, she was airlifted to UCLA Mattel Children's Hospital, where she spent nearly two months. For the first year of her life, she never left her bedroom. Her first Christmas gifts were wiped clean and brought to her room. Later, medications help. She's getting six to seven shots a month or needles in her legs. And she could go outside, but still not near anyone except her immediate family. Then Dr. Donald Cohn, who runs this lab at UCLA, did have some good news for the family. He said it looked like in the not too distant future, Searsha would be able to get a treatment called gene therapy. He worked on the treatment for nearly 40 years. We can really fix the gene or replace the gene that's missing, it's really exciting. 2021 studies showed the therapy had stunning near perfect results. All the children we treated in the past are, are doing well. We, we barely hear from them anymore. But then the company that owned the gene therapy decided not to pursue FDA approval. Instead, they invested money in drugs for more common diseases. And that left Searsha and more than two dozen other families waiting to get the treatment. The longer that we waited, the higher chance of infection or her medication not working or something happening outside of our control to make her severely sick. Okay, Promising gene therapies for rare diseases have sometimes had trouble getting to market for rare diseases because the potential profits might be small. It's been very frustrating. The FDA is now holding a meeting on gene therapy, one of a series of public meetings intended to help the development of these innovative treatments. Last week, the agency's leader testified to a Senate committee. We agree that this is an area we've got to move along more quickly. As for Searsha, Santa got it for me. Santa got it for you. Next month, she'll bring her unicorn suitcase to the hospital to get the gene therapy. She's had a preliminary visit earlier this month. Her family is looking forward to the day she's like any other five-year-old. She's excited to go to school and she wants to go to a Dodger game and she's inviting everybody to Disney World for her. And after years of waiting, Searsha and her family are thrilled for one day she can finally get out into the world. Well, Searsha's mother says this couldn't come any sooner. The power of her weekly injections has been waning and her T-cell levels have dropped dramatically. And by the way, that unicorn uh, backpack that you saw there was a Christmas present that she had asked for just so she could use it to pack her clothes and her toys for her hospital stay. She is on top of it, isn't she? She is She's ready, ready to, go. to go. Exactly. Indeed. I can't mm -hmm. wait for her trip to Disney World, yeah. inviting everyone. Yeah. The follow-up's going to yes. be fantastic. Exactly. Yeah.